Mama. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys five resources that I found that are super cool, so I wanted to share with you guys. All right, so the first resource that I found is called Book It. Book It. Book It. It's hard to say, but it's this. This resource reminds me a lot of Kahoot. I personally love Kahoot, but if you have the free version, then you can only do so much with it. So it can get a little repetitive over time. And that is where Book It comes in. Like I said, it's very similar to Kahoot because you can review concepts in a game like form, but you can review those concepts in different ways and different games. You can also have students work on these Book It games on their own, more as an assignment, or you can also have your students play live, kind of like in Kahoot. This is one of the resources that I found through TikTok, and I found it through Arroz, Arroz, Arroz. I think that's how you say her handle, but I'll have everything linked down below. All right, so resource number two is Codable. So I'm always looking for STEM-based resources to include in my classroom because I think that's important, but that is also an area that I struggle with. That is why Codable is such a great tool for this. So you can have your students access it in two different ways. So if you have Apple devices in your classroom, you can just download the app. But if you don't, like I don't, you can just use it on a browser. Codable is a really cool way to have kids learn the basics of coding. So they have two versions. So they have a version for K2 and they also have a version for third through fifth grade. So the K2 version is more simple and it teaches more of drag and drop coding to younger students as opposed to the third through fifth version that it's more advanced and it uses JavaScript, so it's programming for third and fifth grade version, which is where it transitions into real code. The last year for my classroom, PTO donated this coding game. Obviously with how things are now, we can't really do that because we can't really share supplies like we used to before. But Codable is like the digital version of that that has a lot more options. This next resource I think is so cool and it's called Novel Effect. And basically what this app does is it adds sound effects to your read alouds. They have a ton of different books you can choose from that I'm sure you have in your classroom library. So I don't have any books here at my house currently. So I'll just add the TikTok that I found it through so you can kind of see what it's like. I think this resource is a great way to spice up read alouds in person and remote, but most specifically remote because, because let's be honest, it's hard to keep students' attention through a screen, but if you have a good book and sound effects in the background, I think it's definitely going to help with maintaining your students' attention. And imagine if you can also use a green screen, because I know you can do that on Zoom, during your read aloud, like that would make it even better. And it would also just spice up any read aloud in person too. All right, so last resource I'm gonna share with you guys today is called Reflex Math. This is the only resource out of the five that is not free for teachers, unfortunately, but there is a way around that. So the way I came across this resource is through a coworker of mine. She kept telling me about it and how great it was, but, but honestly, I didn't want to try a new resource at the time. Then I finally gave in and I looked into it and it looked really cool. So Reflex Math is a great way to practice math facts so students can practice addition and subtraction math facts or multiplication and division math facts. This program teaches math facts in a fact family way. So, so if you teach younger grades, think about it as number bonds. So like they'll teach it like five plus two equals seven and then two plus five equals seven and then seven minus two equals five and then seven minus five equals two. Like that's how it teaches each fact one by one until they accumulate all of them. And I know that sounds boring, but I promise you it is not. They teach it in a game, in the game form kind of way. The faster they get at their math facts, the more money they get and the more money they have, the more things they can buy with their money you can also unlock different games so i know i mentioned it's not free but here's a way you can get around it reflex math has a educator grant and the application is super super easy here's my tip to you guys if you are going to go for this do your application and then follow up within a week or so if you haven't heard back from them because i didn't hear back in like two to three weeks but my coworker told me that she heard back within like a day so she told me to reach out and ask about it and i did after i reached out i was given the grant within like two days and that gave me 40 student licenses for a year for free honestly i think reflex math would be totally worth the money but not your money the school's money but yeah i really like reflex math i think it's a great way to practice math facts in a fun way and math facts are important to know like it's the foundation skill of math so and those are the five resources I wanted to share with you guys. And I kind of want to have like an ongoing list of resources that I find. And once I have like five more, I'll make more videos and so on and so forth. So hopefully that is helpful. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see from me next. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.